Hello and welcome back. This is video number eight and we're going to talk about alt tags. So alt tags are tags that are associated with a image and they're located in the code that tells Google or other search engines what your image is all about. So like we talked about in the previous video, Google and other search engines will look at your file name but they'll also look at your alt tag. So it looks at a variety of variables and that's why we have the checklist here to make sure that they all add up. So very similarly to the file name, the alt tag is a keyword that will be found in the source code. Now to give you a better idea, what I'm gonna do here is use a very similar example that we used in the previous video with the chicken noodle soup. So what I like to do is to reverse engineer it is simply go to Google, type in the keyword that you want, find the image, which we clicked on that. And then we landed here. And then remember we right clicked and we opened the image in a new tab. The reason why I do this for this specific task is to get an idea of what the file name is. So what I want to do is simply copy that. Now, if you're using WordPress, which this lady here is definitely using WordPress, WordPress can sometimes take your image and then of course create many different sizes and formats so that depending on the device that you're using, it will show that image. So that shows Google that they are indeed different platform friendly, meaning different mobile phones, different computers, different operating systems, different computer monitor sizes. So we, we can see that here. What we want to do is we want to right click and then click on view page source. Now, I just want to prepare you and say, don't be scared. You're going to see a lot of code that may look unfamiliar to you, but don't freak out. Okay. It's actually a lot simpler as it looks. I'm just showing this to you so that you have a better idea of how it works and why it works, right? So we're going to click on view page source and we're going to get this. I went ahead and did it because it takes a few seconds. That way you don't have to wait. So what we're going to do now is try to find that image. So the reason why I looked at the file name was so that I could get the file name. And now I'm going to do a search. So I'm using a Windows computer. I'm going to do a search for that file name. So there it is. All right. So I'm going to zoom in here so that you can see it a little bit better. So now let me do a search for that file and we can see it there. Now, like I said, with WordPress, it's going to create several different sizes. So we see that here, but if we scroll up and I'm going to make this a little bit smaller like that. All right. So if we take a look at the image tag is always going to start with this sign IMG space class equals how you want it aligned and the image source, which is this. And then of course you have the alt tag. So this is telling Google, okay, how big it is, you know, how it's aligned in the content and the content that surrounds it. So in other words, when Google comes to your site, they're not really looking at your site. They're really looking at the code. So this is what they're looking at. Now we see alt equals easy 30 minute homemade chicken noodle soup dash classic comforting and taste just like grandma made but way easier and faster this soup is amazing and it'll be your new favorite recipe now what's funny about this is they are using the keyword inside it but it's really a description so in hindsight 2020 this looks like more natural it doesn't look keyword stuffy or like they're trying to game the system it's simply something that somebody would write right off the bat. Now we can see the image size and all that. Now that's the alt tag. 
right? So 30 minute homemade chicken noodle soup. And that was in the beginning. And you want to make sure that the keyword is in the beginning. Now, if we do this again, let's just go back over here and reverse engineer again. And this time I am going to click the second one. So we'll click visit. I'm going to keep an eye on that image. So I believe that's this one here. Let's just take a look. Yeah. Bread on top, butter on the right. There we go. So that's the image that we're dealing with. And of course, I'm going to right click, open image, a new tab to kind of get an idea of what we're dealing with. Now, obviously this one's long, but it says 30 minute chicken noodle soup. So remember how we talked about when you're naming your files that if you have a space to make sure that you use hyphens, they did that 30 minute chicken noodle soup. And of course they put a bunch of information that just tells Google what it is like the size and all that, but they could have kept it simple and they would have gotten the exact same. Now, if we go back here, we want to figure out what the alt tag is, right? So click no thanks, right click, view page source. And we know the image is at the very top, right? So what I'm going to do, since it's so long, I'm just going to copy the first part of it, close this down, and let's take a look. So we can see that this is here. Now this is actually, this is part of the metadata. So let's scroll down further. Okay. So if they were our competitor, we can get an idea and we can, we can see that they are definitely using, it looks to me like a Yoast SEO plugin or some sort of SEO plugin that is creating all this uh, metadata and metadata essentially is data that the search engines use. Okay. So this one's a little bit more difficult to see. Let's see. Alt. Okay. So after looking for a few more seconds, I found it here. This is here. So if you're thinking, well, 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 this looks too complicated. Just try another image. All right. Go to a different image, get an idea. And I'm really just showing you this as a way to reverse engineer it, to give you a better idea of how it works. You don't have to necessarily do this yourself, but this is a good way to figure out what your competitors are doing. So we can see here, it says IMG and let me zoom in just a little bit. And we can see IMG SRC, SRC means source. The image source equals this. This is the file name. And then the alt equals 30 minute chicken noodle soup. And that's what we typed in 30 minute chicken soup recipe. So it's, it's not exact, but it's very, very similar. And that's why all these different variables that are surrounding the image, like the recipe and all that, those actually will help you rank on many, many different keywords versus just one. So I'm very sure that this specific site is ranked on not just one, but many 10, 20, 30 different keywords that are related. So that's why alt tags are so important. So you can see here, the file names here, the alt tags here, and that those two work hand in hand. Now, depending on what platform you're using. If you're using HTML, you're going to have to edit the alt tag yourself. But if you're using something like WordPress, it's very easy. As long as you're using something like Yoast, all you have to do is click on the image and with Yoast, it'll give you the image details like this and it'll say alternate text. So alternative text is what alt tag means is and you enter that here. So this, in this case, will be the 30 minute chicken noodle soup. And of course you can put dash if you want to. 
Now, bear in mind that not only is this going to be search engine friendly, but it's also going to be handicapped friendly as well. So folks who are maybe blind and they are using spe special software to allow them to hear what is going on on the website. If you have an alt tag or alt text, it'll tell them what the image is going to look like. So you could be more descriptive, essentially. So hopefully that gives you a better idea on why the alt tag is important and how to edit within your site.